So another big request was hex editing the with uh, the rosters instead of using the redditor, and people just really against the redditor because it does cost money for certain features. So hex editing rosters is a really complicated situation, and really, it's just better if you just use the redditor. I'm I know how it sounds. I'm just promoting the crap out of that thing. But there's a reason why it's so good. There's a reason why we allow Vlad to charge for it. I mean, it's just insane what that thing can do. And maybe this video will legitimize to you why hex editing the roster sucks so much. So let's load up in the hex editor. And this is what rosters look like. Yeah. I mean, it's not nothing really useful. The most useful part is the bank of names. And that's this part down here. And it allows us to change little things that are text-based in the roster. So we can change player names, we can change team names, we can change what logo a team uses, we can change um, the stadiums and the uniforms file names that the, uh, uh, the game uses. Like right here, Rucker Knight 611. We can change that from 611 to whatever number you want. <laughs> I mean, if you look at my street stuff, I have it named SRPN, Rucker Park Knight. And that's because it's my own version of the Rucker Park uh, court where I didn't want to overwrite other, you know, the default one. And you can do that in by hex editing these things. And the main thing with hex editing, so let's just do that right here. Let's change 611, S611 to S S R P N. So that means it will use the SRPN if file for the Rucker Knight of court if, you, if you're loading it in a blacktop mode. When you hex edit a roster, the main thing you have to do is edit the checksum. The checksum is this right here. So the first thing you want to do is delete it. It's the stuff before this 01 byte here. And then you want to save it. And I don't want to overwrite this roster, so let's just dash one this thing. So here it is right here. Next thing you want to do is load up CRC 32. And this program calculates the uh, um, checksum for you. So load it up in here. We're going to change the method to dynamic assembly. And then we're going to click this button right here. This right here is our, CR is our CRC check. The problem is, is that it's backwards, so we have to reverse it. So when we type it in, we start here, but you have to go by bytes. So you have to go D O O four O nine three four. So D O O four O nine three four. And there's a way in some hex editors to uh, flip this, flip the bytes around. But that's just the easiest way to do it. Is that it right there? No, let's replace. Okay. See, I don't even know how to do it. <laughs> but that's how you hex edit a um, roster. And there's other things you can do. I have, again, a text tutorial on how to do this. Um, what I just covered was the bank of names. But remember, you can replace the letters, but you can't add or delete anything. Again, another benefit of the Redditor. Sorry. <laughs> and you can change all, all those things. And then Pat, uh, P-Dub, he found all the stuff for player data. So if we um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is, oh, I, I don't even like doing this stuff anymore. It's useful at the beginning of the year, before Vlad's had the time to make the damn tool. But once he makes it, this stuff is useless. Um, I mean, you can change what player uses what name. You can change their ratings. You can change... Oh, what Syraface they use, but you can change all this in the free version of the editor. I mean, one thing you can't do is you can't change the floor IDs, which is a really complicated thing <laughs> because it uses uh, mod 1024 equations, which I'm not even going to go into. Um, I mean, it's here if you want to look at it here in the tutorial section where everything is. And uh, you can do floor IDs. I mean, this is where you can find certain things inside the default rosters. Uh, we, we did find the rookies, which was useful. I mean, and then there's the uniform stuff. 
that was taken from uh, Operation Sports. But, I mean, I'm just being serious. The Redditor just makes all of this so much easier. It's worth it. I mean, don't spend the money if you don't want to. But, just for basic editing with stats and uh, ratings, just use the thing. I'm sorry. That's all I gotta say about this. Take care.